Raccoon Formers here, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager Class Galvatron. This figure is very nice. He looks like just like how he looks in the movie. Let's start out on how well he rolls. He rolls very nice. A long thing should. Hooray, long. Here's how it sounds like on my desk here. Listen to that sound. I still think Studio Series Lockdown here rolls better. A lot smoother. Now, let's take a look at some of his details. He's got a nice transparent window here. Little lights up here, lights here, black wheels. Transparent window on either side of him. He has smokestacks right here. He's got a nice trailer hitch, but sadly no trailers can attach. Bit of robot cube underneath, but it's okay. He has a nice grill right here, side mirrors, all good. Let's take a look at this accessory. It comes with one, a nice blaster. He does come with a missile that he can shoot. That's what this switch right here is for, but sadly I can't find it. No matter though. Now. Let's get down to comparison. Here he is with his fellow villain friend from Age of Extinction, Studio Series Lockdown. And here he is with one of his arch enemies for the film. Number seven, Leader Class Grimlock. Scale very nicely together. I know Galvatron isn't a Studio Series figure or anything, but still very nice. Hopefully they make a Studio Series Galvatron one day. Now, let's get down to comparison. Oh, I got comparisons. I think we finished up everything for his robot mode. Let's get down to transformation, shall we? Get back here. First, you remove his blaster, set it off to the side. Then, you take his wheels here, fold them out, then you can take these sections, fold them inward, untab the legs, swivel them, fold out the feet, here we have both legs all the time. Now it's truck man! <laughs> And you can detach the cab, and you can take his arms, fold them outward, like that. And then you can just take the cab, collapse it up like this, and you can fold the roof up and tab it in. See, these tabs right here, on the cab, we'll tab right into there. And you can take this section, shift it upward, and then you can take the bo bottom grill here, tab it in. And you can take your blaster here, and just, you can tab it into either hand. But let me see here. And it pegs in very flushly. And here we have the Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager Class Galvatron and his awesome looking robot. My bad. That is actually a fine transformation. It's really nice. Now, let's take a look at some of his details in robot mode. I know I didn't do that for some of my past reviews. I didn't really think about that. But I'll make sure to do that in the future. First, let's take a look at that glorious mug of his. That head is very accurate. It's just like how we did in the movie. What I also like is that he has the huge hole in his chest, like he also had in the movie. His backpack is a bit clunky, but other than that, it's fine. His very nice feet. He does have sometimes have issues standing, but he stands all right. He's got a nice little Decepticon insignia there. What's funny is. His gun fits so flushly into his hand, it almost looks like his hand transformed into the gun. Now, let's get down to his articulation. 
head couldn't look up this much. Head couldn't look down this much. Arms can go up and down, and there's a bend at the elbow, mainly for transformation. Legs can kick up this much, legs can kick back this much, and bend at the knee, and bend at the foot. Oh, I didn't even know this section was here. So apparently you flip these out for robot mode too. I for one didn't even know those things were there. Let's see how well he stands up now. Why? You can choose how you do it though. Now, let's get down to comparison. Here he is with the Studio Series number 11 lockdown. Here he is with the Studio Series number 07 Grimlock. Sorry guys, Grimlock's too tall for my camera. <laughs> Grimlock is a tall figure. I'll showcase that when I make a review on him. Okay, I think this pretty much wraps up his robot mode. Let's get down to transformation. First, you remove his blaster. Then, you take his arms, fold them up on the elbows. And you can take the backpack shift it downward, open up the roof, then you can take the cab, straighten it out, and then just tab the sections in, flip out the bottom headlights, flip in the head. Be alert, this thing does like to fold back in, so be careful of that. And you can take the arm, oops, shift this back a bit more, and you can just fold this in like this and then you can do the same on the other side oh sorry guys came and done again like that all nice and you can take the cab tab it down fold in the wheels then you can swivel this section this way, take this section, and this will latch right into there. And then fold the foot in. Like that. And you can fold this section in too. And you can just tab the feet together. Then you can take his blaster. This grip is where he, how he holds it in robot mode. This, you just tab it right into that hole on his roof. There we go. And here we have the Transformers Age of Extinction Voyager class Galvatron in his awesome looking semi truck alt mode. I'm honestly not sure what kind of semi truck this guy is. He is very nice and very accurate to the movie. I know, he didn't really have a gun on his head, but storage is storage. Well, this pretty much wraps up this review. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to click that big red subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And stay tuned for my next review. A review on Transformers Titans Return, Voyager Class Triple Changer Optimus Prime. Stay tuned. Well, this is your man Raccoonformers. Signing up.